Okay, what do we got here? Oh, I'm making a bracelet. The blue is inlaid turquoise. It's going to be a silver, sterling silver bracelet. This infinity sign is going to be holding her grandfather's ashes. Like a reliquary almost? Yep, that's okay. what it is. <clears throat> so this is a complicated shape for an inlay, isn't it? Yeah, we'll probably end up doing little pieces like that. Very crude sketch, I have to admit. I start off with a bit of a rough draft and then I fine tune it as I go. All right, so your next step. Next step is to slice off the, the piece. And this saw blade is twisted, so it has teeth that go all the way around and it can cut in every direction. Ah, so it can pivot well. So what happens if she gets bigger? Cause is well, this... the way I've designed it is this area back here is going to be uh, locked in with a figure eight clasp. So as she gets bigger, this can get bigger. Oh, okay. Or it can be removed. And then it would turn into more of a cuff. Yeah. Her mom's only a half inch tall. Uh, her wrist is only a half inch longer. So she's... Not destined for a large wrist, maybe. No, she's probably not. And um, I think we can accommodate half inch pretty easily. So she's at a six inch right now, and, and her mom's at a six inch. That chunk of wax. Chunka chunka. So now I'll go in and contour this to fit a six inch wrist that's uh, not super round, but it's not super flat. I have a very flat wrist, very oval. Um, and then I'll start. Uh, scaling this and I'll probably bring it down a little bit. It's going to have some depth because it's going to be an empty vessel or a container. Right, but you've got a lot of wax to remove. Oh yeah, this is totally preliminary. Yeah. Okay, well we're going to check in uh, quite a bit later because I, I don't want to see you remove all that wax. <laughs> It'll take me hours. <laughs> no, you've got techniques to speed it up more than that, so. But I still don't want to watch, so. It's made a lot of progress since I <coughs> last saw it, so. Yeah, I'm pretty much done until I show it to the customer. Oh, you've put some nice contours. That's what yeah. I didn't see. Hold still for a second here. Let's see. Okay. Concave sculpturing on the band, which yeah. really makes it look beautiful. A little bit of thin to thick. Yeah. Yeah, that really lightens it up. So it has a nice motion from this direction mm -hmm. and then nice mo motion from this direction right I like how you integrated the infinity type of symbol yeah. into those curves yeah. very nice I'm looking at oh that's where the turquoise inlay goes and it's right in here yes and then the ashes will go up in here right in there okay and then you'll um, uh, seal it up with what a plate a sterling plate you're gonna just solder it in yep and that that'll just seal the ashes in yep so this was cast in one or two parts one part that's why it's attached here I will split that and open it up and then uh, put a little figure eight locking mechanism on it oh, that's pretty noisy wow. I try to put the ashes in there and solder this on yeah it's gonna get flux and oh yeah all kinds of weird stuff in there so, so you leave a little access hole yeah. so I can clean it out and then put the ashes in and then take weld the whole thing okay this is about a very unusual 
yeah, this whole, I've never, I'd never seen a bracelet done this way. They brought me a picture of what they wanted in terms mm -hmm. of this mechanism. Oh, really? So. Yeah, I haven't seen one done that way, but I kind of like it. I could see the it utility. The security and the ability to take it off and on. Yeah. Just cutting little tiny bits of solder. Putting them right there. Not your light on? Not really, so. Matters to me. <laughs> better? Uh, yes, better. Thank you. I want to do some general heating of the area. Silver, it does take a while to heat up. There's quite a bit of mass there. Gold heats up more quickly. You can come in and get areas hot quickly, and it just doesn't work with silver. Okay. Everything kind of the same temperature. little bits of solder and I'm placing them right on the seam. So theoretically, when the solder melts, it spreads both ways if you've got your heat nice and even throughout the seam. And then capillary action will draw the solder along the seam. I'm heating it from this area because it's much thicker than the plate that's soldering to. Oh, yeah. You know, so... Is it flowed or just tacked? No, it's flowed. It flowed. Okay. Did you have fun figuring out how to do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not, huh? Um, uh, no, it was fine. I just, you know, had to have some quiet time. Sometimes that's hard to get around here. Indeed. But it is a different um, challenge. It not only has a design challenge, it's got a functional challenge. Two functional challenges. It has to fit and stay secure on a kid, be ex able to expand as she grows, hold the, the relic or the ashes. Okay, Lisa, I'm ready for more. Yeah, and you know, she's small. Uh, at this point in her life, it's going to be kind of clunky, I think, until she grows into it a little bit. How old is she? Uh, I think she's like t 10 or 12. Maybe. Oh man, a little bit. Tiny. Yeah, she's tiny. It's her design, actually. For oh, the kid? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Her mom wanted one and, and daughter said, eh, this one's mine. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do a ring for her mom more familiar territory at least. Uh, yeah, and, and it won't compete with her. Right. Yeah, she, I think she, the, the daughter just really wanted something special for her. That's her relationship with her grandpa.
Debbie is now putting the grandpa's ashes in the bracelet and it's a delicate operation. Oh, I could fill him it up, man. Okay, so you're just pouring a little bit and settling it in mm -hmm. using a little cut corner of a Ziploc baggie. Yep. There's, you know, big, big bits and a lot of powder, so I'm trying to get the big bits from keep them from going in and clogging up the works. You know. Interesting. There's room for quite a lot. Yeah, that's why it's so thick. I knew she wanted a bunch of, a bunch. <laughs> okay, looks like we're getting there. Close? Yeah. Okay. It's a uh, time-honored technique or one you just made up? done this very often. The I second bracelet. reliquary bracelet. Yeah, I know you did another one um, that had an engraved plate on it. Yeah. Did you do it in a different fashion? No, I I basically did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Much fewer ashes though. There's a lot of ashes in this one. Okay, so they're in there. That's great, okay. This is a, um, a little baby TIG welder. It's called a PUK. And it's got a preset for silver, and it does use a little electrical pulse. Aha, uh -huh, see, she's cranking it up a little bit. A little bit. And um, we can go to a bigger electrode if we need to. And ah, she works under a microscope, and it actually welds it in place. It's like a little arc welder in a way, only it has an argon um, <laughs> atmosphere that it's squirting out. It's got a bright light. <laughs> You're not supposed to watch that flash, so um, I can't see anything anyway. And there's a tungsten um, electrode. It's a needle. It's too tiny. There it is. It's little. Actually, I think it's a little long for your. It, it's um, long and it's blunt. So yeah, so it's not going to. The gas won't concentrate around it. Oops. Happened. I blew my tip. Oh. We sharpen the little tips into a like a 15 degree angle, except we never measured the degrees. But visually, we can kind of get there. And you don't want to have it pointy pointy because you can blow it off. But also, if you don't tighten this in, it can re recoil and you won't have your contact. What stage are you right now, Deb, with this? Oh, I'm just setting the turquoise and trying to get the contours good. Oh, is it already glued in? Yeah. And okay. then I'll trim around it and uh, had a couple of breaks. I'll repair those. I was going to put silver in it and then I decided I didn't like that idea. So Breaks continuity. Yeah, exactly. So. Looks nice though. So on an inlay like this, um, you're not really setting the stone with... Mm, well, I glued it, but then I also hammered the edges around it. Okay, so it's a combo. Yeah. And it's got a, a round um, yeah, curved top, so yeah. rather than a flat inlay. Yeah. It looks really pretty. I like the contrast. So turn it over and let's see the, the bottom portion. Oh man, you did a nice job there too. Look at that. So you can't even see very much where you did your pucking. Got a nice blend. Yep. Wow. Looks really nice. So how does that little clasp work now? Oh, nice gauge of wire on that. Yeah, so it locks into place. So when she gets older, that can come off and it can get expanded to more of an adult size. Yep. Deb says she's about finished with this. Infinity and beyond. Okay, and the recipient of this is 12 years old. Yep. That's a pretty sophisticated piece for a 12 year old. She designed it. Wow. And that's Grandpa in there. Yep. Okay. Well, good place for Grandpa to be. And that's his turquoise. We oh, seriously? He collected um, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, so I cut a piece of turquoise for. Wow. Grandpa. That's really nice. I didn't realize it was um, 
his turquoise as well. Came out beautifully. 